want you. Here's an overview of the big man barn. And if you're wondering whose blankets these were, this one is Rivers. She is a Pinto man. It's pretty cool. And so it just hangs there because that's her stall with her baby. And then this is the 2013 Lipizzana Mare's um, blanket. This is Feathers. And it hangs here because this is her stall with her foal. As you can see, it's pink. It's a pale pink and I really like the colour. And since, like, Feather's the poshest horse we have, she has that. And um, in there you can see the pink stuff. That is a straw, the bedding, nice bedding for them. And then here is the feed. You can see in there some the feed and a bucket. Feed and then a bucket of water. And that is on all of them. And so they just have some bedding. I still need to put bedding in the three here. Now you can just see, just see from their view. I still need to put bedding in the cows area and all those guys. That, that one, the Shetlands and honeysuckles and also in the canab strippers. Um, now we're going to move on to the next place, which is the feed room. So here is the feed room. It's a yellow box. If we turn this around, we can see in here. If you bring the camera, you can see inside there's the treats. That's just the normal feed and some more normal feed. So that's the healthy stuff. And this is something... These things go on the horse's muzzle, this little thing. I'm just going to pull one out so we can get a closer look at one. And so I'm going to demonstrate how it works with Bella. Ugh. So here she is. Take off her little halter and you put that on her muzzle and you put these things behind her ears like that. And so you just put food in there so she can eat, like that. Then when you want to take it off, you just go like that. And you put her halter back on. And so that's how it works, the feed bags, the little things. And she's just going back in there. And so I just keep them together because they're both the same thing, only different colours and sizes. So this is the big one for big horses, and inside is the smaller one for smaller horses. So there's healthy food and then the treats. Some of them are in, out in the pasture with those horses. And next we're going to move on to the tack room. So here's the tack room. If you come here, you can see there's one blanket, only one summer blanket, so no one needs it because... Well, when I'm playing, it's winter at the moment. And so there's this thing, and this is a little saddle with a saddle blanket. It was made by someone. Someone made it, and Santa gave it to me for Christmas. It's really nice. Yes. And now in this little thing, Thing with you. There's four blankets. There's only two blankets. That one for a girl, that one for a boy. And they just stay here. Because they actually kind of fit. It's weird. And you just close it there. And they're fine. Just need to close it there. So that just goes there. There's a little rope. A little purple rope catching wild horses sometimes because wild horses sometimes run and then there's some trot poles some little poles to go on the jumps or just trot poles and this is a cone for them to weave through 
the other two are being used. Then all the jumps. There's two, two pinks, two purples, and two yellows. And then there's two more poles, but they're being used. And moving on here to the lead ropes and the more ropes. So there's two ropes there. Two ropes. Then here are all the white lead ropes. I like to put them in colour order so then you can pick the ones that you want. Down here is just a special one for um, Blue Bell's halter. Um, and I just hang them on these cute little hooks. And I made them out of pins with just little things on the end just to stop yourself from poking. It just stops it from hurting. And then, if you come back into here where we were before, these are like the fall lead ropes. Little fall lead ropes. There's a red one, a pink one, a blue one, and a red and a green one. They're all just there. Then there's these black and white ones. Then the pink one and the purple one. They just all go on that hook, on those hooks. And if you turn around here, you'll see this. And these are all the tack. This is all the tack. I had the western set, but um, the western person is, is riding bareback at the moment. And so the um, bridle and reins aren't there, but the saddle is. Then the saddle, the dressage saddle is broken and this is my dressage bridle and reins. Then I have the jumping set, the jumping bridle and saddle. And then the um, I have the camping set and this I think is it's like the... It's just a normal riding set is being used at the moment. And then I have the pony riding set there, but they're being used as well. And now, since that's brief, and this is a handle in the drawer, it's really cute. I like that. Because it's like this. Let me just do that. I'll look at it from the other side. So you come around here, and you can see the drawer it's there. There. It's just there. And there's the handle. Just there. And now we're going to move on to the big arena.